Debate over the future of the Columbia Police Department's community outreach efforts led in part to the departure of the city manager and police chief in recent weeks, but the unit's future remains uncertain. ABC 17 investigates some of the claims city leaders made then and how the city plans to move forward. ABC 17's Lucas Geisler showed us what he discovered. In late November, Ken Burton and city manager Mike Mathis defended their proposed changes to Columbia Police's community outreach unit. But I've learned more about how leaders defended the choice. We had a sergeant by the name of Clint Sinclair. He's, he's sitting in the back room, as a matter of fact. This was his idea. This was his, his idea. Here's how we can do it citywide. That's not true. The August 13th memo from Sinclair proposed a replacement for the downtown unit called the Community Action Team. It was sent to Burton along with three other members of the CPD command staff. That new team, according to the memo, would work alongside the COU to fix short-term problems, not replace it. Have you ever seen this memo before? I haven't seen this memo uh, before you showed it to me. Um, but this memo seems inconsistent with what was described. Mayor Brian Treese and the council asked to put a hold on those changes well, until CPD so. could complete a report on how to best implement community-oriented policing. But that report, Treese says, won't be coming soon. It's dead. It's dead on arrival. Um, the, the acting city manager has informed us that it requires so many um, um, revisions that it would be impossible to, uh, to meet the the council's deadline and it would be better just to start over. The COU has had success in its three year existence. City data shows violent crime dropped by 22% in three of the neighborhoods it worked. That drop accounted for nearly half of the city's whole drop in crime. But as of last month, it still had three spots open on its roster. Um, people like community policing. They just want to see more of it. I asked the police department for an interview with acting chief Jill Schlude about how those changes to the COU came to be and the future of the unit. She was one of the people on that memo from Sinclair. A week of asking the department got no responses. I'll let you know when they return my messages. Interim City Manager John Glasscock is still considering his choice for Interim Police Chief. If you have something you would like ABC 17 News to investigate, head to our website to submit a tip or email them to investigates at KMIZ.com.